mshiriki namba 39 ametoka na anafuata mshiriki namba 30 Hello welcome men 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 greetings first what are you greetings what's up good you good yes chef what's your name my name is good luck which program are you doing i'm doing a discussion program uh, called wananchi discussion forum all right do you know how many minutes you're supposed to present five minutes go on thank you Hello, welcome to Bonanchi Discussion Forum with me, Gurlak Po, on TBC International. And the topic today is the contribution of works of art towards Tanzanian industrial economy. Mind you, Tanzania has put on table an agenda for industrialization. This was since President of the United Republic of Tanzania, John Magufuli, came into power. This is a dream which perhaps requires diversity of things and sectors to be set together to constitute its achievement. But in the days, on the presidents of the countries which made it, this revolution went hand in hand with transformation of other sectors. One of them was agriculture. Also, talented citizens used the artifacts to make it possible. In Tanzania, we have a mark on this journey. And later on today, we'll discuss this together with Jacqueline Christopher, a well-known writer and an entrepreneur, and Rogers George, a singer. But mind you, works of art include film, music, comedy, artifacts, writing, dancing, literature, and so forth. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon after a short commercial break. Thank you for tuning in. This is Wananchi Discussion Forum with me, Good Luck Paul, on TBC International. Before stepping into our discussion, let's have a glimpse on the video notes segment, and we'll be back soon. Welcome back, and that's how talent can move the country from the grass to grace. I would like to express my deep sense of gratitude for joining us from the beginning to an end. Keep listening to the following program and the coming up next is Swahili News Beauty. Hii ni dunia yetu leo mchana kutoka idhaa ya Kiswahili ya South America ikikutangazia moja kwa moja kutoka Washington DC. Tunaanza na taarifa ya habari inayosoma kwako na Miguel Lapo karibu tu sote. Familia ya Rais wa zamani wa Zimbabwe Robert Mugabe imekubali kiongozi huyo azikwe kwenye makaburi ya mashujaa wa kitaifa mjini Harare. Hata hivyo tarehe rasmi ya kuziko kwake bado haijawekwa wazi. Msemaji wa familia Mugabe, Leo Mugabe amewaambia waandishi habari kwamba machifu wa kikabila katika eneo hilo alikozikwa alikozikwa Mugabe ndio waliofika alikozaliwa Mugabe ndiko wali, ndio waliofikia uongozi huo. Leo ambaye ni mpu wa Mugabe amesema mazishi hayo yatakuwa ya kifamilia na wanaendelea kujadiliana kuhusu siku atakayozikwa kiongozi huyo wa zamani. Mugabe alifariki dunia wiki iliyopita nchini Singapore akiwa na miaka 95. Familia yake na Rais Emerson Mnangagwa alikuwa mshirika wa Mugabe. Walijikuta wakivutana kuhusu wapi atakapozikwa Mugabe baada ya mwili wake kuwasili nchini humo. Waziri mkuu wa Uingereza Boris Johnson siku ya Jumatatu anatarajiwa kukutana na Rais wa Kamisheni ya Ulaya, Jean Claude Juncker huko Luxembourg wakati waziri mkuu huyo akisaka makubaliano ya Uingereza itoa kwenye umoja ulaya ama Brexit kabla ya kufikia muda wa mwisho uliopangwa wa Oktoba 31. Ofisi ya waziri mkuu huyo imesema Johnson atafanya mazungumzo na Rais Janka kuhusu Brexit ingawa haikutoa maelekezo zaidi. Boris Johnson anazimia kufungua upya makubaliano ya Brexit yaliyoingiwa na mtangulizi wake Theresa May. Mataifa matano ya Ulaya yameelezea wasiwasi wake mkubwa kuhusu tangazo lililotolewa na Israel na kunyakuwa kibabavu maeneo ya ukingo wa Magharibi. Waziri wa mambo ya nje wa Ujerumani Heiko Maas ameandika kwenye ukurasa wake wa Twitter kwamba utakuwa ni ukiukwaji mkubwa wa sheria za kimataifa iwapo hilo litatekelezwa. Taarifa ya wizara hiyo imesema mataifa hayo matano ambayo ni Ufaransa, Ujerumani, Italia, Uhispania na Uingereza wataendelea kutoa wito kwa pande zote kuepuka vitendo vya ukiukwaji wa sheria za kimataifa ambavyo Ninaweza kukujumu suluhisho la mataifa mawili na kushirikana kupatikana amani ya kudumu. Waziri mkuu wa Israel Benjamin Netanyahu mapema wiki hii alitishia kulinyakuwa bonde la Jordan eneo kubwa katika ukingo wa Magharibi na ukaliwa kimabavu na Israel iwapo atashindwa kwenye uchaguzi yao. Shughuli za usafirishaji zimesimama jijini Pari wakati vyama vya wafanyakazi vikiandamana kupinga mageuzi makubwa. Funga bosi. Taarifa ya umoja mataifa ambayo imetoa tahadhari juu ya uamuzi wa mahakama ya juu zaidi nchini Marekani wa kutoa kibali kwa serikali ya Rais Donald Trump wa Marekani kutekeleza vizuizi muhimu vya maombi ya hifadhi ukionya kuwa anaweza kuwa na athari kubwa 
kwa watu wenye mahitaji ya dharura kupatiwa hifadhi. Msemaji wa shirika la kuhudumia wakimbizi la umoja wa taifa Andrej Mahesic amewambia waandishi habari mjini Geneva kwamba wamesikitishwa na hatua hiyo ambayo imesema itakuwa ni athari kubwa na kuomba hifadhi. Taarifa hii inaweka nanga katika mkusanyiko wa habari zilizokuandalia mchana huu. Uchaguzi wa kina taarifa hii unakuja hivi kunde usende mbali. Ah, uko vizuri. Sauti yako. Una sauti nzuri. Una punch on lakini haina internet sometimes. Ah, ifanye sauti yako ina internet. Ili isiweze kuvotea au na time management yani una ina ina. Yaani una bomba script. Yaani unatoka hapa mpaka kari yako hata ujue una muda gani, ujue uta present nini, ujue utafanya nini. Ili mbali tu na maandishi mengi basi nataka kwa present yote. No. Lazima ufanye story selection lazima uangalie ni nini unafanya ni nini au fani kwa na story nyingi sio kwa kutangaza bidii ndio unaelewa time management wamekukumbusha mpaka unazimia bado tu hata uelewe nini ambacho unachofanya niweke vizuri um sisi tunahitaji imagination sawa hatuhitaji much reading tunahitaji imagination jaribu kutupa imagination sawa as long as unajua watu wengi hawaelewi na nyingi au hawaelewi kila ambacho unachokifanya wape imagination sawa lakini una pictures nasikia kwa hiyo jitahidi maneno ambayo na s utoe hiyo pictures sawa hai picture s confidence lack of confidence totally confident lack of confidence the pressure of the voice jitahidi kuwa na confidence ili uweze kufanya vizuri. Lakini usipokuwa na confidence, naenda mbele na kuhimiza kwa kila siku. Sawa? Hakuna kuogopesha. Ah, mbona kwa wiki iliyopita ulikuwa vizuri paka ukanifanya ni nitamani kuinuka hapa ambapo nilipoka. Lakini uh, wiki hii naona au uh, siyajua kwa sababu ya nusu finali na kutaimsha namna hiyo usitumie muda mwingi sana kama kwa maana umezungumza usitumie muda mwingi sana kusoma mpaka unapoteza mtu kwa situation yako kwamba nini na kusomaza ah nilitamani sana hiyo program yako kwamba ya mwananchi unge ungeenda ungeiva uhusika kwamba unazungumza kitu gani taratibu kwa hivyo yani wewe ujivae wewe kama wewe usitumie muda mwingi sana kusoma ukitumia muda mwingi sana kusoma itakufanya unapoteza hata ule hata ile hali ya kujiamini kwa sababu tunatamani kusoma kila neno hadi neno si ndivyo kwa hiyo kupoteza ile ladha yako ambayo sauti yako ambayo tuko nausikia huko na kupenapotea kabisa lakini ukijitahidi kuvaa usika na ukatoa kile kitu ambacho ni muhimu utakuwa kwa vizuri sana uh, sio waandishi habari waandishi wa habari habari sawa habari kitu kingine kabisa sawa eh yeah. kwa hiyo vitu kama hivyo vidogo vidogo ukiweka sawa uh, una sauti nzuri kusema tu fikiri ni kwa ya hii kitu inakusumbua lakini jaribu sana hivi vitu vidogo vidogo ndio vitakao kukupa max ukilipotezea hivi ndio nakupoteza uh, between english and swahili which one is comfortable with you english are you serious sure. are you sure? sure what have you done mm, uh, it was a program but you know it's something which needs you know it's a discussion program so did you talk or you read i i, I didn't introduce uh, the discussion you know mind you i introduced the guests but uh, they didn't get I, i mean i didn't get uh, a chance to conduct that discussion they didn't they did you didn't. tell us no i didn't bossy you read yani hakuna yani hakuna hakuna creativity hakuna imagination so just like in a soma kitabu sawa it's not about broadcasting issues sawa you read issues sawa tunahitaji kupata your taste of what on explaining issues you have to master it then you have to elaborate to ask you read too much more than no matter the police swali which one you comfortable with sasa nimeona kiingereza imekuwa ni issue kwako kwa sababu 99.99.99 ulikuwa unasoma afu nilikuwa najaribu kuipitia hichi kitu chukua nilipatia eh uh, nitaka niulize hiki ni kipindi gani 
cha discussion cha discussion ndio kipindi gani yani kipindi cha discussion ambacho unakuwa na topic alafu unakuwa na watu wanaitwa studio uh, discussion hapa kwa ufupi sasa sicho hicho unachoniambia ulikuwa unafanya makala unaifahamu makala ndio chukua na kifanya kwa sababu nimejaribu kusoma kufuatilia ni kama unatoa taarifa zaidi kuliko maswali zaidi na ni bora ungetuambia bwana mimi sina mgeni na tijiona na guest sina mgeni au long kama nacho kabisa ungetuuliza ite mali nacho ama ni vile nacho la kwanza la pili ulikuwa unasoma zaidi yani wewe ndio uko kabisa unasoma kwa hiyo uko unafanya makala maana pia nafanya makala mimi ndio maana kwa nasoma makala hello welcome to mwananchi uko na za Tanzania sport on the table and the end of the specialization yeye yeah, hivyo unampa tu taarifa kwamba ukiwekwa hiyo hiyo sawa haikuwa special program sasa ile tadi hizo unasimama maswali yani ilikuwa interview kama babo utaka ile kwa umearibu hiki kitu ni bora unge uvona hivyo ungetafuta mtindo wote ambao utakuwa kwa rais zaidi kwa kwa inawezekana uko comfortable labda kipindi kimekuwa labda kwa Kiingereza uko comfortable zaidi kama unavyoniambia ila kipindi cha Kiingereza hujaenda nacho vizuri yani ume 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 umezingua umearibu sana ni bora ungetushirikisha kwa sina mgeni au lao ungetamana nacho ufanye kipindi cha Kiswahili kama ungekuwa kuna comfortable zaidi au ungeachana nacho kabisa usitiki kwa mwingine lakini unaweza otherwise una sauti nzuri na you have a good accent english accent unayo nzuri nimekusikiza vizuri sana na lugha nzuri sana ya Kiingereza na fudhi unayo tamno sawa nimekusikiza kwa vizuri sana kwenye lafudhi zako za Kiingereza lakini pia una shida ya muda nadhani ni wasiwasi nikikutazama ulikuwa na wasiwasi ndani yake hata nilikuwa nakuuliza na kutazama bado ulikuwa uko yani uko bado uko uncomfortable na nijibu lakini ona bado na wasiwasi ndani yako kiingereza na nakuwa na unafahamu unajua unajua lakini bado kuna ujasiri kwenye kitu fulani yani kama hivi lazima ujasiri wako uko ukiwa na mtoto pembeni uko unafanya yako e, ujasiri unao ila kwenye hii jambo la leo umezingua bosi sawa kwenye habari hii no comment obviously ziwa nafanya vizuri jambo kwa leo kidogo kujifanya best kama vipindi vingine vilivyopita sasa sijui kwa sababu ulianza umeanza vibaya huko leo mniangusha kwenye habari kio kweli afu nakubali kweli misha ligia kwenye habari lakini leo umezingua sasa sijui kwa sababu umeanza napo take care mzee tuombe tu Mungu kama fanali takwepo la